are things just sometimes by chance, or are, is there always a reason? Well, without getting mentally involved, yes, there is always a reason. And it's being so divinely orchestrated. Our part is honor it, go with it, let's not question it, let's dance with it. We're not contemplating anything and letting the clarity come to you rather than seeking for clarity. Because that's where, if you look at it further, you know, the mind level from an egoic state is looking for something to grasp onto. And then when we try to grasp on, I promise you it's going to be so far out there because the grasping on isn't assisting anymore. Coincidentals, they come for one, confirmation for two, realignments for three. They call it synchronicity as well. Yes. It's the unfolding fluidity of you. And you'll have more coincidences. You'll have more synchronicities because what's happening is you're beginning for one to start to trust what's going on. And now we can take a deep breath. Okay, you know, it, really, everything's okay, says the mind. And then for two, there's going to be 28 other synchronicities, coincidences, perceivably, until you're okay and says, hey, you know what? This is more than brilliant. It's actually normal. It's happening so brilliantly and so quickly because the, the sluggishness has been dissolved. Even when I talk about a critical mass of your brother's waking up, mm-hmm. now it's at about 89.3%. Dear brothers have stepped into a whole new world. Yeah. Some just exploring, some testing the metaphoric waters, some caution to the wind, bring it on, let's go. You see, you're, the part that I love, whether it's coincidences, synchronicities, odd dream scenarios, the only reason that's playing out for one is only for the mind in the egoic structure until finally we can take a breath, all is well, literally all is well, where the mind has come to terms with it as well, that there's really nothing here to be afraid of. All the perceptual fears are out the window and dissolved by pure consciousness to where your natural state is becoming louder and louder and quicker and quicker. Same with your own embodiment. And watch what's going on in all the, the changes around you, all the metamorphoses around you, actually of you as well. Why don't we all analyze for a minute, okay? Can you feel how confined, how sluggish, how heavy? Whatever happened to you? Because now the mind that is your friend, and we definitely want to give it jobs to do, has just wrapped itself around being in charge again. And here comes the brake pedal when nothing was broken. And then we say, okay, and the mind says, okay, this makes sense, it doesn't make sense, because remember, the mind can comprehend less than one-third of a centimeter of you and the whole universe at time. But it's also constantly expanding as you're expanding. You see, now we don't have, the mind level has nothing left to hold on to, to where it can literally metamorphosize to be your friend. Because many challenge and battle the egoic structures, many challenge and battle the mind levels, and only thing that's doing is creating more disruption in your whole life stream, and that same door is still being knocked on. So we're going to try to ignore a thought, and we're going to ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, and here comes eight linear months later on a time continuum. Why don't we just step back from it and just listen to all the chit-chat going on? But now let's really let the chit-chat become louder and louder and louder. Let's totally surrender to the chit-chat. Let's not battle it. Let's not get engaged. Let's not process it. Let's just let it be the chit-chat. Okay. So why don't we ask the chit-chat, who are you? Whose voices are we listening to? So why don't we excuse the dear brothers? I bind you to the sun to be repolarized for the good of all humanity never to return. I welcome you in my higher levels of my true presence here now. Take command. And how quiet did the chit-chat become? If we just unleashed and unlocked the underlying states and all the consciousness called emotion, which is just energy created with judgment, that created everything becoming stifled, stagnated, and locked in as reality. 